Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Margaret Zimba and I'm back again with another video. Pretty girl at a mercy. She she with a friend so today we will call this day tip tuesday tuesday because i am going to be giving you guys tips on how to save money as an international student studying in australia i am not saying that i'm the best person in saving money or i saved the most money when studying but i wish i did these things so that i was able to save a lot of money when i'm studying in australia if you want some tips on how to save money especially if you live by yourself while still studying please continue watching this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up so the first tip i'm going to talk about today is working you have to work to to get money like literally you have to work to get money and what i realized when studying in australia like you actually need a side hustle you can't depend on your family or like if you're getting um money from scholarship programs sometimes you're not able to fully sustain yourself with that amount of money so it's important to get a side hustle you can work age care you can work in mcdonald's you can work in hungry jacks you can, work is work so just try and find a side hustle that will give you money a side hustle that will give you money and another tip is you can always find a cash in hand job so what cash in hand jobs mean is um you work and then at the end of the day the person who's hired you get, pays you at the end of the day so that's the money you have in cash so that's the money you can put into savings or that's the money you can will use at the end of the day and the money that you earn from your actual job you can put it into your savings so my first tip in this video today is a work and have side hustles try and get yourself a cash in hand job try and get yourself a cash in hand job i'm not i'm um, very good at it because i got a cash in hand job and i quit in a week just <laughs> just because like it was too much for me but don't be like me do better do better and um get a cash in hand job and a side hustle my second tip for the day is avoid eating out or going out frequently oh my days i wish I wish I took that advice upon myself until now it's something that I actually really struggle with like you don't necessarily have to eat out you can cook like tell yourself you can cook at home tell yourself there's food at home sometimes you have to cook those struggle meals like noodles like rice and beans so that you're able to save some money you can you have food in the house you have food in the fridge you can cook at home that's gosh because if you calculate the amount of money you spend on food oh my god i think it can add up to like 500 dollars a month if you calculate the amount of money you eat out it's a lot so tip number two is avoid eating out like eat out when it's necessary on special occasions or like when you're so tired and you actually don't feel like cooking that's when you should eat out another tip you don't have to go out every saturday <laughs> you don't have to go out because going out equals spending money i learned that most recently like i learned stay at home on saturdays stay at home you don't have to go out you don't have to go out create your own happiness in your room create your own happiness at home because going out equals spending money so if you want to save money stay at home stay at home especially if you're international students and you have all these financial responsibilities that you have to keep up with <laughs> stay at home sis stay at home bro because you don't want to be spending all that money going out because going out sometimes like you have to buy food you buy drinks you buy this and this and this it equals to a lot of money every saturday and are you getting paid five thousand dollars a week no so stay at home sis and save that money save the coins <laughs> Tip number three. This is for people who want to come to Australia. I know this for Australia because I'm here. So I can tell you this. Try and find yourself shared accommodation. Try and find yourself shared accommodation because living by yourself is so expensive. Especially like when living in Canberra, I have noticed that the rent there is so expensive. So if you're able to find shared accommodation, go for that. I know some people like me, honestly, like I have lived by myself for a long time. So living with people is very, very hard for me. But you have to adapt to this, sis, if you want to save some coins. So 
try and look for shared accommodation for milk that for the longest that you can i lived in the school hostels and i noticed that school hostels are so expensive the good thing about living in school hostels is the fact that all the utilities are paid for in inclusive of the rent so like um i used to pay around 540 dollars a fortnight that's two weeks rent 540 dollars a fortnight and that's inclusive of electricity unlimited water and heat and all that so can you realize that 540 dollars a fortnight so in a month that adds up to a thousand and eighty dollars that's almost a hundred that's Bruh. almost <laughs> Wait, the math is not nothing. So 540, 540, yeah, that I don't know. Is that a hundred thousand Kenyan shillings? I think it's a hundred thousand Kenyan shillings in in a month. In a month for rent. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? For rent. I'm telling you, accommodation is so expensive here in Australia. So if you can find yourself shared accommodation, do that, sis, and try and find the cheapest possible. I feel like some people like me, we have a bit of OCD here and there. We like living in our own spaces because that's what makes you feel most comfortable. And I feel like for me, I compromise a lot of things. Like I can say, oh, I won't do this. I won't buy a lot of clothes. I want to do this so that that money can go to my rent so that I'm able to live by myself. I feel because I feel like for me my environment really um, affects my energy and that's something that I noticed that's why I tend to lean more towards living by myself because yeah like I don't want to live in an environment where like there's a lot of people I like my own space so yeah that's why I lived by myself for a long time so if you can find shared accommodation here in Sydney or here in Australia you will save so much money you will save so much money so that's my third tip for this video shared accommodation shared accommodation the fourth tip this is my second last tip for this video the fourth tip i would give you guys if you wanted to save money whilst living here in australia and this is for all the students who we've struggled and like agree to disagree me i vouch for canned food and frozen food canned food and frozen food that frozen mashed potato goes for three dollars that canned beans it goes for 90 cents 90 cents canned food i know it's not the most healthy type of food but it's the most cost effective it's the most cost effective and here we are looking towards saving our coins so canned food in my opinion is the safest bet especially if you don't have a um especially if you don't have a large budget to work on like if you have limited amount of cash sis please go for that canned food that frozen food it, it's not bad you can make it healthy you can spice it up you can sprinkle some spices there to make it healthier to make it nicer taste better but frozen food and canned food and shop shopping in general like when, when you're going to the mall to buy food from Coles or Woolies try and look for the Coles brands try and look for the Woolies brands just so that like they tend to be cheaper compared to like actual brands let's say for example you want to buy dishwashing soap so there's the morning breeze dishwashing soap and there's the Coles one Coles liquid dishwashing soap that morning breeze one can go for four dollars and the cold one can go for a dollar so that's three dollars difference so if you're really struggling like if you're really struggling you shouldn't look at the brand just go for what you need sis like go for what you need because you're going to save them coins and as you save up and as you continue working and getting more money and if you get a good paying job that's when you can elevate to the brands that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Try and look for the most cost effective type of food, cost effective spices, cost effect cost effective. Save your coins. Save your coins. Save your coins when you can because it comes to a point where you won't look at the brands right now. You'll just be picking. So take your time, save your coins. Don't look at what other people are buying. You be you and save your coins 
coins that's what i'm saying like because when it comes to shopping sometimes you tend to go beyond budget because you pick out the most expensive things and it doesn't work any differently from how the willis brands would work so try and be very cost cautious like when picking out items when shopping frozen food canned foods for the meantime not for a long time and you can also balance like this week you're gonna buy fresh food next week you're gonna buy like the canned food so that you also like saving because our mission here the point of this video is learning on how to save so that's my fourth point my fifth and last point for this video is to walk and catch public transport walk and catch public transport i feel like my experience in australia has been so different because i've driven like most of the time here when i was in australia but now i'm not driving and i've been able to like not waste a lot of money on maintaining my cars because honestly my friends think i have a car because my cars jesus break and i just need a new car i just need a new car with no problems new 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 so you, if you can walk and catch public transport uber here and there like it's gonna save you more money than having to pay registration pay maintenance pay like a car is very expensive fueling a car is very expensive so if you can walk or catch public transport do that do that and the secret to this is finding a job that's near where you live and when you're looking for accommodation you find accommodation where it's centrally located and you can walk to everywhere like the mall is right there everywhere like there are kfc and there so that you you're not um forced to like um drive or anything you can survive without driving so that's what helped me when i was coming here in sydney like when i was looking for a place to stay i looked for somewhere that's closer to where i live uh to where i work i mean and also like somewhere that's centrally located like not too far from the mall like not too far from some caves here and there and it's still a good location to live at so that's what you should think about especially when you're coming to australia just look for a centrally located area to live that you won't need to drive at least for the meantime i know sometimes public transport especially on holidays are very unreliable but on in most cases they are reliable and in small towns like canberra it's definitely hard to move around with without a car it's definitely hard to move around without a car so these are some things that you should consider when moving to australia like where you're going to live how the public transport system is because here in sydney the public transport is very good as from what i hear because me when i've moved here i haven't been able to fully use public transport because coronavirus is a pandemic it's a pandemic <laughs> it's a pandemic <laughs> it's a pandemic it's a pandemic <laughs> it's a pandemic and i'm not trying to catch anything so that's why i have been moving around um via uber or like i walk to places that i need to walk to so if you're able to catch public transport don't rush into buying a vehicle because that will cost you a lot of money that you can be saving and you can put into something else so my last and final tip is catch public transport walk that's also good for your exercising please try and look at things this way do i actually need this thing or do i actually want it and that's something that i'm trying to learn for myself especially like when you're an impulsive shopper try and see do i really need this or do i want it like what do i want it do i need it and if you decide oh you actually really need it okay i even forgot what i was saying so yeah guys um those are the five tips i have for saving money especially as an international student here in australia and if you want me to talk about more topics that relate to this can you let me know in the comments down below and yeah let me know what you guys think about this video give a thumbs up guys to be able to support me as well and yeah um share this video and subscribe to my channel as well turn on your notification bell so that you guys will be notified whenever i post i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video i think i'll call this tip tuesday because it actually is really cool tip tuesdays with maggie i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye <laughs>